Good evening. Welcome to Visual Complain on Tuesday with me, Ian Wiley. Come, let us say Complain together. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And so we have the psalm from evening prayer today, Psalm 33, with the refrain, The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for it is good for the just to sing praises. Praise the Lord with the lyre, on the ten-string harp, sing him praise. Sing for him a new song. Play skilfully with shouts of praise. For the word of the Lord is true, and all his works are sure. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all their host by the breath of his mouth. He gathers up the waters of the sea, as in a water skin, and lays up the deep in his treasury. Let all the earth fear the Lord, stand in awe of him, all who dwell in the world. For he spoke, and it was done, he commanded, and it stood fast. The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to naught. He frustrates the designs of the peoples, but the counsel of the Lord shall endure forever, and the designs of his heart from generation to generation. Happy the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people he has chosen for his own. The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. The Lord looks down from heaven and beholds all the children of the earth. From where he sits enthroned, he turns his gaze on all who dwell on the earth. He fashions all of them and understands all their works. No king is saved by the might of his host, no warrior delivered by his great strength. A horse is a vain hope for deliverance, for all its strength it cannot save. The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon all those who fear him, on those who wait in hope for his steadfast love, to deliver their soul from death and to feed them in time of famine. Our soul waits longingly for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Indeed, our heart rejoices in him. In his holy name, we have put our trust. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us, as we have set our hope on you. The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. Feed your people. Lord, 
with your holy word and free us from the emptiness of our wrong desires that we may sing the new song of salvation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Into your hands. O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us, O Lord, while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing always be upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.